If you're looking to start a Facebook group, or maybe you have one, but every time you go in there, you hear crickets, that's no fun. We wanna show you exactly how to structure your group and to grow and engage in the right way so that people are coming back every single day wanting more. Community is vital to the success of your business. You need people to not only connect with you, but to actually connect with each other. That is why having an engaged Facebook group can be so beneficial to growing your brand, growing your business, and growing your network. We're gonna walk you through the five key steps to really structure your Facebook group and create an engaging space that people love, can't get enough of, and keep coming back for more. Make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna share with you that super secret top pro tip of awesomeness that is going to show you how to leverage your Facebook group to actually help you grow your business even more. Let's hop into step one. You have to decide what kind of community you wanna build. Don't gloss over this one because this is really, really important. Think about the city you live in. Where's your favorite place to go? Are you the kind of person that loves to go hang out at the gym? Maybe you like to go hang out at the park. Maybe it's the basketball court. Maybe it's the movie theater. Maybe it's the local pub. Each of those spaces has a certain type of person that goes there. There's a certain kind of conversation, a certain way that people act and engage in those spaces. Your Facebook group is the exact same way. If you want to build a space where people keep coming back day after day, ask yourself a few simple questions. What kind of atmosphere do I want to create in my group? What are the kind of people that I want to engage in the group once they're there? What kind of conversations do I want us to have or not have? This setup is going to help you as we move in to step number two. You need to create a sense of belonging. I know what you're thinking. Do I really need to? I'm in a business and I'm just trying to create conversations around one particular topic. But the answer is yes. If you are not creating a sense of belonging in your group, Group, then people aren't going to become loyal members that come back day after day. The easiest way to figure out what kind of belonging you want to create is to fill in the blanks to this statement. You're not crazy, you're brave, when? Now some examples of this may be, you're not crazy that you go out and train for a marathon, you're brave. You're not crazy that you are fostering eight dogs at a time, you're brave. You're not crazy that you quit your job to travel for a whole year and experience the world, you're brave. The idea is to create a sense of belonging that says the outside world might not understand you, but we do, so hang out with us. That'll help them stick around and start to engage more. Now in step number three, we have to set some rules and boundaries. Now I'm not gonna go over the exact technical steps of how to set up rules in your Facebook group. For that, you can click here. We are going to talk about the kinds of rules you need to set to make sure that your Facebook group stays engaged. I know what you're thinking. You're going, hey, Facebook already gives me some templated rules. I can just do those. I mean, I trust my audience after all, right? It has nothing to do with trust and has everything to do with giving your audience the freedom to understand how to engage in your group because you've set good boundaries. So we're gonna figure out what kind of rules and boundaries we need to set based off of what we did in step number one where we figured out what kind of community we want. While each Facebook group is unique in its purpose, there are some best practices when it comes to the kinds of rules that you should set. Now I always like to say that we really want to discourage surface level engagement and encourage deeper connection. Our rules help us do that. If you are letting people post motivational quotes, Generally, people aren't engaging with those. And if they are, it's just to say, yeah, that was a great quote, thanks for that. Make a rule, don't allow motivational quotes. Teaching posts, oh, everybody loves these, but nobody engages with them. Because if you're telling somebody, hey, my hero's journey was I had this problem and now it's fixed and you can too. Tell me in the comments your hero's journey. It just doesn't create a lot of engagement. People don't want to be talked to, they want to have an actual conversation. So no teaching posts either. And finally, no prompts. You want to make sure that you're not allowing other people to come in and start really broad prompt conversations that really don't help your group stay focused on the topics at hand. Put in these basic rules and any other rules that you feel like are necessary for your group. And now we can actually jump into how we allow people to have the freedom to engage around these rules and parameters. And we'll show you exactly how to do that in step number four. Step number four is all about asking engaging 
questions. People want to know that their voice matters, that their opinion matters, and people love to share their opinion. I like to think of the group as a think tank or a focus group where I can get answers and understand my audience and my business better. Keep your questions simple. Someone should be able to answer that question in less than 10 seconds. Remember that everybody is going into your Facebook group generally on the go from their phone. Since I have a group that is for moms who are also starting businesses, one of the questions that I recently just asked is to help me decide on the exact photo I would use for a piece of content that I was putting out. People love to tell me that they liked one, two, three, or four best and why. Another great question is, hey, when it comes to podcasts, what is your favorite episode of a podcast? What is your your favorite person to hear get interviewed? What is the show that you listen to most when you're on the go? They can answer in less than 10 seconds and it makes it super easy to create an engaged question where everybody has an opinion. Step number five. Be a leader and a facilitator. That means that it's not your job to be in the group 24 seven or be the only one posting or always the one that's commenting. Let your group organically assume roles and connect amongst each other. But you do still need to be a leader. You should alternate giving them permission and creating a sense of belonging like we talked about in step two and alternating that with training. So week one and three is all about just telling them stories that make them feel like they belong in the community. And then weeks two and four, that's where you get to train. You get to show your expertise and tell them how to actually do something of whatever you wanna teach in your group. When you go live once a week and you alternate in the way I just talked about, you're able to not only build a sense of belonging, but build a sense of authority and clout. And those two things can work wonders when it comes to creating an engaged Facebook group. Now, as promised, here is the bonus. Number one, don't grow too fast. I know that you're gonna wanna say yes to everybody coming in because it's great to have a really fast growing Facebook group, but having the right people in is way more important. If somebody doesn't have a profile picture at all, and if they haven't posted anything in the last six months, odds are they're not gonna be a really great engaged member. Those are two criteria that we like to use in order to help understand if we're letting somebody in or not. Number two is you should ask for their email address. The Facebook group is amazing and great, but you really want to be able to communicate with them outside of your Facebook group. So make sure that you're asking for their email address in one of the three questions you get to ask when you're setting up your group. Speaking of questions, click here to go watch our video all about the four types of questions you need to ask to 10X your engagement in your Facebook group. And if you are really loving the conversation, click down here and watch our entire playlist of awesome videos all about how to build and grow your Facebook group.